Uh, let me ask you this point. What do you say about the BitMEX research that said there are to tons of more people holding Bitcoin Cash for speculative reasons than actually using yep. Bitcoin Cash as what you mentioned, cash? And, and I'm one of those people. And the reason why I'm holding most of my net worth in Bitcoin Cash is because, because I can spend it anywhere. Just like people use the dollar or the euro or the Korean won as savings is because they can spend it anywhere. And Bitcoin Core has destroyed its ability to be spent anywhere. And that's why people are, less people are using it as a store of value than otherwise would have been. So if you're excited about economically stimulating the world, accelerating innovation, reducing wars, and making the poorest 10% better off, and overthrowing corrupt governments, and raising happiness, get involved with digital currencies today because they're literally the best tools the world has ever seen to achieve those goals. So there's a thousand and one different competing cryptocurrencies out there, and we don't know which ones will have the biggest market share at the end of the day. But I think it is clear that cryptocurrencies that aren't controlled by anybody are much more likely to gain adoption around the world rather than different colored pieces of paper that you keep in your wallet. And you have to use different colored pieces of paper depending on which country you go. Like, I have some blue pieces of paper. These don't work in Korea. Why are they still in my wallet? And then just the other day I was in Europe, so I had some different colored pieces of paper that only work in that part of the world. Whereas with cryptocurrencies, they can work anywhere on the planet, regardless of where you are. Uh, and then they're super, super easy to convert from one type of cryptocurrency to another. So at the end of the day, from an investor standpoint, you should look at the different cryptocurrencies that are out there and then look at the won or the dollars or the euros that are in your bank account and ask yourself which ones are more likely to be worth more over time rather than less over time. Telling everybody about Bitcoin yeah. Cash. I lost track of how many wallets I set up already. But everybody loves cash in Korea, especially yeah, Bitcoin. <laughs> my my impression of Korea is that Korean people love a handy phone, and they're so used to T money and cyber cash and the online online things that using cryptocurrencies and the blockchain technology is just. Of course, in Korea. So it seems like a very, very natural fit with Korean culture. Uh, great advice is to always hold your Bitcoin or your cryptocurrency yourself on your own device where you have the private keys. Don't leave them on an exchange because exchanges, the more popular an exchange becomes, the bigger a target it is for a hacker. So you should always keep your, your Bitcoin cash or your cryptocurrency on your own device. And the Bitcoin.com wallet, of course, is a fantastic example of keeping the money on your own phone. For example, the money I sent you is yeah. on your phone. So don't let anyone steal your phone. Today was the first time I heard it called a reverse ICO. Oh. But I, I understand what it means now. It's like a reverse listing in the stock market. So with companies that are already established using ICOs to do fundraising, I, I think it's fantastic. But like every investment, the investors need to be careful what they invest in. You're surprised by the my answer? That, or? The, the fact that you heard the term reverse ICO for the first time because it's such a buzzword. In Korea, yeah. maybe, but I think outside of Korea, nobody mm -hmm. uses that term. At the end of the day, it has to be useful to people because these cryptocurrencies are tools designed to make people's lives better. Mm -hmm. And if they're not useful in people's lives, then you've missed the point. And so. I think Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and, and Ripple are the three that are likely to have the, the biggest impact on people's lives around the world. If I go on our Bitcoin right now today, and I post some reasons why I think Bitcoin Cash is a good idea, or why I think Blockstream's scaling roadmap is, is wrong, my post will be deleted so people don't even get to hear what I have to say on there. Did what, you try that? Yes, I have tried it and I've had numerous posts deleted. And so is Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase. Uh, so I'm asking you. Do you have proof of yes, that? Yes, I have proof of that. And I, I've posted photos online and I can pull them up for you. So for the sake of argument, assuming what right. I say is true, 
What do you think about that? Well, I'd say that our Bitcoin does not represent Bitcoin. If that is true, Bitcoin, nobody represents Bitcoin. Bitcoin is an open source software. It's nobody controls Bitcoin. That's the point of Bitcoin. So I don't, I support Bitcoin. But what I is Bitcoin, Bitcoin to you? Bitcoin is a new type of innovation that, that in, this, in the world of today, there were no decentralized consensus before. Now we have it. Can you help me set up a Lightning wallet on my phone here and send me some money via Lightning? Well, uh, currently, you can't. It's what? A, what? What? Currently, the development for mobile wallets aren't so there you, for a mobile. Phone. So hold on. You want me to use Lightning Network, but it's not possible to use Lightning Network. Is well, that what Lightning I just Network heard? Lightning Network is in still is still in beta, so it's still, it's still coming along. So you and guys, right now, hold you on. Can currently use it for internet, and you so, can currently use it. On, which app on can I install computer? and use it on my phone to make a payment for it? A shop. Uh, it will come. Well, let's so I can't slower. today, right? Let's be clear with our language. It's impossible for me to use Lightning Network right now today on my newest iPhone you or on any be, iPhone for that you matter. You would be correct in saying that. Okay, so we've delayed adoption of worldwide use of cryptocurrencies in the hopes of Lightning Network being available someday for my iPhone, is that right? Well, no. We're, no? We're, then we then how do, do I use Lightning Network today? What we want to do is we want to keep the decentralized consensus that's the main innovation and that's something that we need to keep. So you've been, so that's, that's where our fundamental conflict of visions are. I don't think that that's the main innovation. I think the, the decentralized nature is just a tool that we use in order to achieve censorship resistance. And I censorship resistance is the goal. Bitcoin Cash is not censorship resistance. When was the last time anybody had their payment censored on Bitcoin Cash? Well, it's and very I'll, I'll show you. It's mathematically very possible. Pull out your phone right now. Uh, it's it's, in char it's charging right now. It's charging right now, so I can send you Bitcoin Cash from my phone to yours right now. I can't do that with Bitcoin Core on the Lightning Network, but well, I can do it with Bitcoin Cash. Now, whose transactions are being censored? Well, you can do that on the mobile payments if you use the main main chain. And how much was the fees back in uh, in December? Uh, how much are the fees right now? You know why? They're lower today than they were in December because people have stopped using Bitcoin, like myself. I was say the same for Bitcoin Cash. No, the fees have always been low on Bitcoin Cash. Uh, in Satoshi's, currently, Bitcoin Cash is higher than Bitcoin. That's absolutely not true. The it fees, is true. How much do you want to bet? Let's bet uh, $1,000 on it right now. We'll pull up it and look it up right now. Would I'm you like a, to bet on I'm, that? I'm a college student. I do okay. not have that kind of money. How about a gentleman's bet? And we'll look it up. And if you're wrong, I'll, you can wear a Bitcoin Cash t-shirt the next time you come to a meetup. How is that fair? Uh, and if, if I'm wrong, I'll wear a Blockstream t-shirt at the next time I come to a meetup in well, Korea. Well, I'm not a gambler like you, so. It's a t-shirt. There's nothing at risk. And I'll pay for either t-shirt. No, I'm good. So you're, you're not confident in the thing that you just asserted so confidently? You well, just told me that the Bitcoin core transactions are lower than Bitcoin cash transactions. In Satoshi's. In Satoshi's per byte. And I said that that's incorrect and I can pull it up and prove it to you right now. And if I'm wrong, I'll wear a Blockstream t-shirt. If I'm right, you'll wear a Bitcoin cash t-shirt. So well, and I'll pay for both t-shirts. So you have absolutely nothing on the line except for your pride. Well, the thing what say is, you? The, the, the payment, the, the, the fees are con con uh, constantly changing. So yep. and the fees are the consistently moment, higher on Bitcoin Core than on Bitcoin Cash. That would be false. That I, I, so I let's bet on it, a t-shirt, right? Currently? You're or, saying it's false, but you're not willing to, to put even wearing a t-shirt on the line in regards to that? Well, what I have to do is I have to search it and it's currently- I'll search it for you right now. And since you're not willing to take a bet, we'll put this on YouTube and everybody can see that you're just making stuff up right. that isn't true. So give me one second and we'll pull it up. So, so here we go, Bitcoin average transaction fees. Are you sure that's not a biased website? No, it's, I don't even know who owns it. So here we go. So in blue is Bitcoin Core, and in red is Bitcoin Cash. And so you can see even right now, if we zoom in all the way today, the blue line is higher than the red line. So there you go. If you had made the bet, you would be wearing a Bitcoin Cash shirt. So what you were saying was wrong. Would you like to zoom in? You, can you see that there? Well, I'll pull you up, but I'll, I'll, I'll post it on Twitter. Or I'll, I'll show you that it was expensive. The Bitcoin Cash the, transactions the, were more expensive. The median transaction fee has never been more expensive on Bitcoin Cash than on Bitcoin Core ever. In Satoshi's. In Satoshi's per byte. Never. Never. And if we look, and here's the real problem. So this is why people like me that have been some of the biggest proponents of the adoption of cryptocurrency anywhere in the world gave up on Bitcoin Core because in December when the average fee was over $50 per transaction, it was no longer usable as a cryptocurrency. In December, I'm sorry, in August 1st of last year, Bitcoin, the one single Bitcoin with a ticker BTC, split into two versions of Bitcoin. Bitcoin Core, which is not a digital currency, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Core Cash, is, which is, is a, a digital, digital currency, currency. And, is, and is Bitcoin as defined in the original Bitcoin white paper, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. So when was the last time you made a Bitcoin payment? Well, the last time Today, I Today, yesterday, last week, last month? 
Well, I use it as a store of value. Every okay. Day. So when was the last time you made a Bitcoin transaction? It was back in March. In March. So like three months ago now? Well, uh, let me ask you this point. What do you say about the BitMEX research that said there are to tons of more people holding Bitcoin cash for speculative reasons than actually using yep. Bitcoin cash as what you mentioned, cash? And, and I'm one of those people. And the reason why I'm holding most of my net worth in Bitcoin cash is because, because I can spend it anywhere. Just like people use the dollar or the euro or the Korean won as savings is because they can spend it anywhere. And Bitcoin Core has destroyed its ability to be spent anywhere. And that's why people are, less people are using it as a store of value than otherwise would have been. Do you know why SPVs don't work? Tell me why you think SPVs don't work. They work, they work fantastic. I have a bread wallet right here on my the phone. The thing is SPVs follow the longest proof of work. Yep. So what that does is it only follows the longest proof of work. You don't prove anything. SPV nodes do not prove anything. So, so run your own full node or connect to a full node that you trust. Right, but right. Bitcoin Cash doesn't want to do that. Bitcoin Cash supports SPV scaling. SPV is, scaling is what was described in the original Bitcoin white paper. So you opposed to the original Bitcoin white paper? The Bitcoin original Bitcoin white paper, it doesn't work. Okay, so you think Bitcoin doesn't work, got it. I, don't, I do not. I think, think they're calling me, thank you for your time. is that Bitcoin Cash is Bitcoin as described in the original Bitcoin white paper and has the same economic formula that led to Bitcoin becoming successful in the first place. Look around, there's so many people here and so many people excited about Bitcoin and blockchain technology. So Korea is definitely a, an epicenter of, of things happening with, with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. Done, easy, so you are easy, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Did you get some stickers already too? No. Can I load you up? Yes. Do you have some Bitcoin Cash yet? I have it. You have it, okay. Yes. How, about, how about your camera crew? Bitcoin Cash, you saw it? No. Oh, so? Let's do it. Buddy, buddy. Handy phone, how How about you? Would you like some Bitcoin Cash stickers? Who wants a Bitcoin Cash sticker? There you go. I have Bitcoin Cash. Please, please. There you go. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Bitcoin Cash sticker, you saw Okay. Oh, you have it already. Okay. So hit the receive button. Yeah. We'll scan yours. And if I wasn't right next to you, you could send that information to me on Kakao Talk. So again, I'm going to send a thousand won, which should, it's about one US dollar, but could easily become worth one hundred dollars as Bitcoin Cash becomes more popular. Sent and received. Is there some water up there? Can I grab one sip of water real quick? Perfect. Thank you. Did you get the newest deck that I just sent you? I think this. If not, we can still use this one. But I sent another. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming again. Fundamentally, Bitcoin is an economic system. And if the economics of Bitcoin are broken, Bitcoin is broken. And we saw that happen in December of last year when the fees got up to over $50 for a single transaction on the Bitcoin network. The economics of Bitcoin were broken. Nobody's going to use a currency that costs $50 to use it on average. And if you're running a business, oftentimes you'd be paying more than $1,000 in fees for a single Bitcoin transaction. Um, so for me, as someone that's using Bitcoin in commerce every day, it's clear Bitcoin Cash is Bitcoin. It's the Bitcoin that was described in the original Bitcoin white paper. And it's the Bitcoin that led Bitcoin to becoming a worldwide success today. And I'm sorry, that's going to be a whole mouthful. <laughs> when the split happened between Bitcoin into Bitcoin Core and Bitcoin Cash, unfortunately, Bitcoin Core managed to bring along the name and the goodwill and the public recognition but it's Bitcoin in name only, whereas Bitcoin Cash has the spirit of Bitcoin and is alive and spreading that message. So I, I would love your help to, to tell your friends and family and your, your fellow students uh, about Bitcoin Cash and that it is Bitcoin and, and that it uh, brings more economic freedom to the entire world. So thank you. Bitcoin Cash, Chincha Chosumida. Bitcoin Cash, Gaza! Gaza! Thank you very much. My goal is to make Bitcoin Cash cash for the world. And if it becomes cash for the world, it then by default becomes the store of value for the world as well. Just like the US dollar is cash for the world, it's also the store of value for the world. Those two things are not separable. Proof of selfie, okay. Uh, here's a. Here's a sticker for you. Oh, I cut myself. Do you want an actual picture? Uh, yeah, why not? How did I cut myself? What, what is stickers. this one? It's a Bitcoin. 
it's, it's something. A cow like, coin, okay. Yeah. Oh, you know Chinese. Yeah. I don't think you have a verified Instagram photo. I have a bunch of fake ones. That, that's the real one. Okay. That's the only real one. And if you follow me, yeah. guaranteed by like tomorrow, you'll start getting fake ones contacting you, yeah. asking you to invest or in some something other. Start. Don't I'm believe them. Okay, okay. Like, I, well, now you know that they're yeah. fake, but like, but you're not don't. giving me free effort. Yeah, well, <laughs> what they do is they say, hey, this is my fan account. Like, yeah, invest yeah. in something yeah. or other. Send me ETH or. or a lot of them are so dumb they ask for Bitcoin Core. Like, that's pretty clear. It's not going to be me. Yeah. But I would love to help cooperate building more Bitcoin Cash businesses yeah. in Korea. So I'll, I'll contact yeah, you I'll and we can connect you. everything. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, okay. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you guys. I, I scratched my thumb somehow, or someone scratched my thumb. There's no, there's no more skin here. So, yeah. So I'll shake your hand next time. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let me find a napkin. I'm, I'm, I somehow scratched my thumb here. So let me, let me get a napkin or something. You see her shirt there, Jeff? You see her shirt? Show me her shirt. Oh. <laughs> Just yeah. cash game yes. girls. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, maybe you saw like Jake or some other guy has posted some photos of some cash game girls. This is one of them. I taught Heiji about Bitcoin and she taught me some extra bit of Korean. So it was great. 9.30 already, Bitcoin never stops. Nice glasses. <laughs> the Thug Life glasses, that's great. <laughs> there you go, thank you so much. That's funny.